Central European forests are the habitat of many species of plants and animals. Birds are an important element of the forest ecosystem, playing an important role in its functioning. Their singing fills the surroundings, and the multiplicity of colors and shades of feathers arouses our admiration, and the closer look we take at them, the more admiration we feel. Birds are allies of foresters and forest protection. They contribute to reducing the population of insects, which in a large number pose a huge threat to trees. Birds catch the most insects in the breeding season. Then, adults, besides satisfying their own needs, feed the chicks that need high-protein food for rapid growth. The life of the forest. Birds. The forest is an environment that shapes living conditions for many organisms, including mushrooms, plants and animals. Plants in the forest form a special vertical arrangement, divided into four distinct layers. Soil covered with duff, ground cover, undergrowth and crowns of tall trees. Each of these layers is the place of life for some birds. Birds can be observed in the forest throughout the year, regardless of the time of day and weather conditions. Their distribution, number and species composition in particular parts of the forest depend, among others, on the abundance of food, habitat preferences of individual species, as well as the season of the year. In Polish forests, there are and usually nest about 130 species of birds. They can be divided due to the location of their nests. Some build nests directly on the ground, others in shrubs, ascents, tree crowns or in hollows. There are also species that are flexible enough to use several types of nests, as is the case with a robin or a common blackbird. Trees are the main place for food acquisition for many species of birds. Invertebrates, seeds and fruits can be found there. Certain species, such as orioles, goldcrests, coal tits or red crossbills, are mainly found in the crowns of tall trees where they feed and find a place to build a nest. However, not all of them nest so high. There are also species that find the best conditions for nest construction in the forest layer. For example, all Polish galliforms nest in wind-fallen trees and depressions of the area, under the cover of low bushes and young trees. The capercaillie is the largest member of the grouse family in Europe. It lives in big, old and not very dense woods with rich duff and undergrowth and moderately tight treetops. It chooses secluded places for its breeding site, but where the forests are not very dense and the undergrowth is dominated by low vegetation, not limiting visibility. The courtship ritual of Capercaillies lasts from March until May and takes place both on trees and on the ground. The mating song consists of four consecutive parts that form a coherent whole – flapping, trilling, corking and grinding.
After the courtship ritual and copulation, which occurs on the ground, the female leaves the mating arena and in hiding, in the depression of the terrain, builds a nest in dense undergrowth. It lays four to twelve cream beige eggs with grey and brown spots. After about 24 to 26 days, the chicks hatch, which immediately after drying are taken by their mother from the nest. The young grow fast, feeding on insects, mainly ants and their larvae. Capercaillies are in Poland threatened with extinction. The main dangers for these birds are unfavorable changes taking place in their environment, an increase in the number of natural enemies, adverse habitat changes in refuges and the disturbance by people. Currently, in the natural habitats of Capercaillies, a number of forestry and breeding activities are carried out, aimed at improvement of their living conditions, increase of their number and making them return to some formerly occupied areas. One of the birds willingly settling in dry, well-sunlit edges of broad, deciduous, coniferous or mixed forests with nearby overgrowing clearings, young trees, forest plantations and glades is a tree pipit. It is the only Polish pipit nesting in the forest. You can meet it across the country. It returns to the breeding grounds from the winter resort in the first half of April and stays in Poland until November. It starts breeding in May and June, usually coming to two broods a year. The female of a tree pipit builds a nest in an open area, always directly on the ground in a previously dug hole, under the cover of a dangling clump of grass. It is well camouflaged and hidden from predators, which helps in upbringing of the young. Chicks of the altricule species hatch naked and blind. They grow fast on an insect diet, constantly demanding food. During this period, the male helps the female to provide food. After two weeks of intensive feeding, the young leave the nest, spreading around the area, but remain for some time under the care of adults. This is the characteristic behavior of birds breeding on Earth. If they remained in the nest, and in the event of a predator's attack, they would be concentrated in one place, they would all be killed. In the damp, heavily shaded forests with rich ground cover, on the ground, under the pile of leaves and broken, crumbling branches, we can find a nest built by a robin. It has the shape of a shallow bowl made of leaves and moss, lined with hair, bristles and feathers. As with most singing birds, a robin can have three broods in the season, but usually it has two. The chicks remain in the nest for about two weeks. During this time, they are fed by both parents. Above the layer of ground cover grow young trees and shrubs, creating the undergrowth. Such an environment offers ideal conditions to many species of singing birds, which build their nests at the height up to several meters and gain food in the thicket of tangled branches and under the cover of leaves.
The male blackbird has uniform black plumage and a contrasting intensely yellow-orange beak and rings around the eyes. The coloration of females is not so diverse. The natural place of life of blackbirds are forests and tree stands. From the beginning of the breeding season, these birds feed almost exclusively on animals, mainly invertebrates, of which they prefer earthworms and beetles. Their prey are also other insects in various stages of development and arachnids. They look for food by jumping on the ground. They never go too far away from sheltering shrubs. The nest is built by a female, usually on stable ground and in the semi-shaded area, usually not too high above the ground. The eggs are usually greenish-blue, rusty-brown and mottled. Chicks are born naked and blind. At the beginning, they are fed exclusively with animal food, later supplemented with berries and fruits. Blackbirds are able to have up to five broods during the year, but usually they have two to three broods. The field fair is similar in size to the blackbird. It also belongs to the thrush family. In forests, it inhabits the edges of wet alluvial forests, alder forests, overgrown banks of rivers and other small groups of trees. It usually nests in small, loosely distributed colonies, rarely alone. The young are fed for about 16 days, after which they leave the nest, being still non-flying. They stay hidden in invisible places for some time under the protection of their parents. A chaffinch is a species which adapts to the environment with great ease. It occurs everywhere where trees grow. It can be all types of forests and midfield groups of trees, orchards, parks or gardens. Chaffinch does not have specific requirements as to the place of nesting. The nests are built both on trees, in the tree branch forks, just above the ground, but also in the dense thicket of bushes, where they are well hidden. The chicks stay in the nest for about two weeks, although in case of danger, they can leave them earlier. Parents feed them with insects. A chaffinch is the most common bird of the Polish forests. In most forests below the tree crowns, we can find cavity nesting birds that have chosen that area for the bringing up of their offspring. They can be divided into two groups. The first of them are primary hole nesters, that is, those that can cut a hollow on their own. The second is the secondary hole nesters, which use the hollows left by the primary hole nesters or inhabit those that were formed in a natural way, as defects in trunks or tree boughs. They also use nest boxes built by foresters. The most important primary hole nesters are mainly woodpeckers. There are 10 species in the Polish forests that are characterized by a similar lifestyle and food acquisition. The black woodpecker is widespread throughout the entire territory of Poland. This is the largest European species of woodpecker. Adults have characteristic, uniformly coloured plumage with a black and red cap on their head. 
Black woodpeckers inhabit mainly beech and pine forests and other types of old-age forests, providing feeding grounds and nesting places. Their hollows are large, with a characteristic oval shape and a very spacious interior. A pair of birds can forge a few hollows that serve them both for breeding and for accommodation. They do this every year, and it takes them about two weeks. At the end of April, the female lays three to five white eggs in the hollow. Both birds take care of incubation for about 12 days. The chicks remain in the nest for about four weeks. Black woodpeckers have one brood a year. Woodpeckers are a unique family of forest birds. Their abandoned hollows also serve other animals as night shelters, daily hiding places, pantries and breeding places. Among the birds, they are used by boreal owls, pygmy owls, wrynecks, stock doves, tits, nuthatches, flycatchers, starlings, redstarts and golden eyes. In the interior of the hollow, you can also find squirrels, martens, muscadinidae and bats. Apart from them, certain invertebrate species, for example, the hermit beetle. The great spotted woodpecker is the most numerous species among the Polish woodpeckers. It is estimated that in Poland there are 600 to 900,000 of breeding pairs of this species, and its number shows moderate growth. It inhabits all types of forests. It is much smaller than the black woodpecker and has a completely different coloration. It selects a tree trunk or its side branches for its hollow. The woodpecker forges it at heights from half to even 20 meters. Hatched chicks staying in a hollow about 25 days are very noisy. As soon as they grow up a little, they start chirping incessantly and spend a few days before their departure looking out of the hollow and waiting for their parents to come with food. The main food of the great spotted woodpecker are insects and their larvae, but in autumn and winter, conifer seeds also appear in its diet. A very rare species of woodpecker in Polish forests is a three-toed woodpecker, slightly smaller than the big woodpecker. Its number is estimated at 1,000 to 1,400 breeding pairs. A feature that distinguishes it from other woodpeckers are three toes, hence its name. Its hollow is forged in dead spruces at the height from a few to a dozen or so meters. Its breeding period runs from April to the beginning of July. The three-toed woodpecker occurs only in two regions of the country, in the extensive forest complexes in northeastern Poland and in the Carpathians. It is strongly associated with old spruce forests abounding in dead and dying trees. It also feels good in alder forests. The blue tit is a small bird from the tit family. It prefers broad-leaved and mixed forests that allow a lot of sunlight. It also likes all kinds of groups of trees. It is a very mobile bird. It moves nimbly along thin branches of trees and shrubs, searching for food. It can have two broods a year. It lays up to 13 eggs with a white color with red flecking. The chicks are altricial nestlings and remain deeply hidden in the hollow for about three weeks. 
A large number of offspring requires parents to make a huge effort in finding and supplying food. The chicks at that time devour powerful amounts of insects, arachnids and other small invertebrates. In the bright old forests at the edges of parks near meadows and fields, we can come across one of our most colourful birds, a roller. Formerly it was common throughout Poland and currently it is extremely rare. In our country, ornithologists have now registered only a dozen breeding pairs. It nestles in large spacious hollows. During the year it can have one brood. It hunts mainly for insects, but it also appreciates small vertebrates. The edges of large forests, avenues and individual trees adjacent to open areas are the habitat of a hoopoe. It is slightly larger than a starling and its head is decorated with a characteristic fan-shaped tuft. There are no obvious sexual dimorphism in the hoopoes. The female is only slightly smaller than the male, with a slightly larger plumage. A long beak is used for searching for prey hidden underground, which mainly consists of small invertebrates. Birds of this species are willing to use large hollows as their nests, where the female lays four to seven eggs. After the hatching of the chicks, the mother does not leave the young at first. The male brings the food, gives it to the female through the hole of the hollow, and then she feeds the chicks. The young leave the nest after about 22 to 25 days. Hoopoes avoid thick forests, but they can be found in age-varied forest plantations, preferred in the modern forestry model in Poland. Nuthatches, as secondary hole nesters, eagerly use the woodpecker's hollows. However, the original inlet holes are too large for them, therefore the birds cover their parts with clay or mud mixed with saliva, adapting them to their own size. The way of moving around the trunks is also characteristic for nuthatches. They walk with their head down, looking for prey in the hollows of tree bark. They feed on different foods, including seeds in autumn and winter, but in the spring and summer, insects are the main ingredient of their diet. In forests of a natural and semi-natural character, the best conditions are found by a collared flycatcher. In Poland, it is a rare nesting bird, occurring mainly in the southern and eastern part of the country. It can be found, among others, in the Białowieża forest. Its biotope are extensive, older deciduous and mixed forests with a correspondingly large number of hollow trees. A flycatcher feeds on insects caught mainly in flight. Prey is also collected from branches, leaves, trunks, flowers and from the ground. However, it is a less common practice and only when it is cold or rainy, as insects do not fly then. There is a distinct sexual dimorphism between the female and the male. A collared flycatcher is a daytime bird, and it is a typical forest bird.
Among the secondary hole nesters often found in our forests, there are owls, such as the tawny owl, boreal owl, or pygmy owl. Wherever the hollows are lacking, foresters help the birds by hanging nest boxes. They are often inhabited by tits, red starts, flycatchers, starlings, or wrynecks. The wrynec belongs to the family of woodpeckers, but it cannot make a hollow. Its beak is too weak for it. It has a very mobile head and neck, hence its name. A wrynec can be found all over Poland, although it is a rare nesting species. It arrives in April and stays until September. It prefers quiet and warm edges of forests. It feeds on beetles, caterpillars and aphids. However, its main delicacy are ants, which a wrynec extracts from the anthill with a long, almost 7 cm tongue. It is believed that the wrynec tongue is the largest among European tongues of bird species. At rest, the tongue is wrapped around the skull. Near the forester's lodges, which are usually found in the depths of the forest and its outskirts, there are several characteristic species of birds that benefit from the close proximity of humans. They build their nests in various strange and surprising places. A black red start male in the mating plumage is slate black with a characteristic rusty tail. The female is brighter. A black red start is a very mobile bird. When it sits down somewhere for a short moment, it often shakes his tail. It prefers to build its nest in accumulated stones in rural attics or in the ruins of buildings. Access to open spaces is extremely important to a black redstart, where it searches for food by running and jumping. It eats mainly insects and their larvae, collecting them from tree trunks, branches and leaves just above the ground. It can also hunt with agility in flight. In the course of the year, it can have two broods. The young are fed by both parents. The chicks leave the nest after about 16 days and are still under the care of adult individuals for a long time after departure. A black red start is common in Poland. It flies away in the winter. Chicks of all species of birds must have animal protein provided in their diet, which means that their diet consists mainly of insects, arachnids and vertebrates. There are, however, species that are unique among birds, which provide the chicks with the necessary ingredients from their own breasts, specifically from the crop sac epithelium exfoliated at that time. These include pigeons. The breeding period of a wood pigeon is from February to September. In one season, these birds can have up to four broods. Most often, however, only two are successful due to the high mortality of the chicks caused by the pressure of predators. The nests built by them in the treetops resemble loosely stacked platforms assembled from carelessly arranged twigs.
After about 17 days from laying white eggs, one or two chicks without feathers hatch. Adult wood pigeons produce a substance called pigeon's milk. The young eat nutritious mush, submerging their heads in the crop sack of the parent. For practical reasons, feathers on the head and neck develop last. The chicks remain in the nest for about four weeks, and for the next two weeks they are fed by the male. The female during this time begins the second brood. Not all birds that nest in the depths of the forest are closely related to it. Some of them are looking for food outside forests in open areas. The highest layer of the forest, where birds find suitable conditions for nesting, are the crowns of trees. For this group of birds, the appropriate space to reach the nest flying is important. Here, at an altitude of up to 25 meters above the ground, large spacious nests are built by black storks. The diameter of the nest can reach up to two meters, which is why the birds choose pines and oaks with wide branches. A black stork, although considered a typical forest species, needs wetlands with small and shallow ponds where it can feed. It feeds mainly on fish that account for up to 80% of its diet. Another large group of birds nesting in the crowns of trees are birds of prey that are active during the day. The largest domestic bird of prey in the hawk family is the white-tailed eagle. Its wingspan reaches 240 centimeters. It chooses old, tall trees near lakes, breeding ponds, dam reservoirs, and rivers to build its nest. The white-tailed eagle's nest is a powerful construction where birds feed from one to three young. Their diet consists mainly of fish, water birds, and rarely mammals. In autumn, white-tailed eagles usually feed on drained fish ponds, where they gather into larger herds. In winter, when there is a problem with the availability of fresh prey, they also eat carrion. In wetland deciduous forests, in the plains with access to lakes, swamps and wetlands, a spotted eagle has its habitat. It prefers deeper parts of forests with older stands over 60 years old. A spotted eagle has a clandestine lifestyle. It usually builds a nest in the crown of a deciduous tree near the trunk. 
It occupies such a nest for several seasons. A spotted eagle can have one breeding season a year. Out of two chicks in the nest, only one is able to survive because they hatch at different times and the mother feeds mainly the older and stronger one. Birds such as black storks, white-tailed eagles, spotted eagles and many other species endangered by extinction have special protection zones. In the Polish forests, they started to be created in 1984. The protection includes nesting places of endangered species and various rays of all-year and periodic protection zones are applied. In such areas, at certain times it is forbidden to reside and perform any activities that would change the nature of the habitat. In the depths of the forest or on its edge, in the old tree stands, a hawk has its breeding period at the turn of February and March. Its nest is located near the trunk, in the central part of the tree's crown, about 10 to 20 meters above the ground. From two to four white, lightly speckled eggs, after about five weeks of incubation, hatch chicks without feathers. The young grow quickly. After 41 to 43 days, the chicks leave the nest and hide among the branches of the trees, where for the next few weeks they are still fed until they are fully ready to fly. At the turn of August and September, the young become independent and to reach sexual maturity, they have to wait until next spring. A bird that is very similar to a hawk, though almost half as small, is called a sparrow hawk. It prefers younger pine and spruce forests, cut by slips and clearings, but also midfield clumps of trees. It places the nest near the trunk or on the branch going away from the trunk. In open areas, near smaller or larger forest complexes with stands of less density, we can find a buzzard. It is one of the most common Polish birds of prey. It hunts mainly in fields and meadows. It starts breeding in March or April. Its nest is built at a considerable height in the branch fork. The chicks hatch after 35 days of having been incubated by both parents. They are fed with small vertebrates. They usually include voles, moles and small birds. The young leave the nest after about 40 days. The group of birds that nest in tree crowns also includes owls. From 2012, in the Sopiborske forests, the breeding of the great grey owl started to be observed, the bird which until then only occasionally had flown to Poland from the Belarusian part of the Białowieża forest.
Great grey owls use broken trunks for nests, but most often they settle in abandoned nests of birds of prey, especially buzzards and hawks. These birds hunt from a raised hide, mainly for small rodents. The chicks leave the nest about four weeks after hatching. They cannot fly yet, but they climb well and stay in the nest area for a few weeks. There they are fed by their parents. After eight weeks they are already volatile and can obtain food by themselves. All birds living in our forests are a very important element of this ecosystem. Currently, almost all wild bird species in Poland are subject to strict or partial protection. For decades, protection zones have been created in forests for some species, especially those threatened with extinction, which has a positive effect on their population. Currently, over 3,000 protection zones have been established in the state forests. Thanks to the deepening knowledge about birds, their behavior and environmental requirements, foresters can provide them with proper protection. Proper care for the habitat will not only save many species of birds present in our forests for future generations, but it will also preserve countless numbers of other animals, plants and fungi.